I want to show you basic navigation in Business Central. It's really quite easy. There's a couple main parts we'll take a look at. We'll look at the role center, look at the application menu, and then we'll look at a nice feature called personalization, which allows you, the user, to change the system the way that you want so it looks the way that you want it and makes it easier for you to get your job done. First of all, let's look at the role center. When I log in as a user, I select a role that I'm logged in as, and I'm presented with this role center. This is the home page of the application when I'm logged in as a specific role. The role center guides me based on the role that I've chosen to log in as. If I go up to settings here, I can see that I'm logged in as a business manager into a specific company. The role center changes based on my role, gives me access to certain parts of Business Central, focuses my attention on what's happening in my business as it's happening. So this is my role center. I can see a number of things here. I have information being serviced about purchase invoices. I can drill down on that and get a list of those invoices. I can select an invoice and I can see all the entries associated with that particular invoice. So this allows me to drill down and drill around and also create transactions based on this information. As I scroll down my role center, you'll see that I'm presented with a number of tiles. These tiles also focus my attention on what's happening in my business. And I can drill down on those and get more information. These are all my open purchase orders. Scrolling down further, I start getting more report-oriented information. I've got a list of favorite accounts that I go to on a regular basis. I want to be kept up to date on what the status is of those accounts. I also have some graphs here being provided by Business Central. I can click into that. It'll bring up the customer in this case. And I can look at all the information related to this customer from this page. I also can embed Power BI reports on the role center if I'm using Power BI. And here I have a trial balance because I'm logged in as a business manager. This gives me a trial balance for the current periods. I can drill down and get information on what these dollar amounts are. I can drill into that even further and look at the underlying transactions. So this is a basic role center in Business Central. I also have access to the full application menu in Business Central. Here I have certain parts of it. I can drill down, see all the sales transactions here, other related information. And I can also go to the full menu here and I can explore more roles and see even more menu items. But one of the easiest ways to navigate Business Central is by using the search function. At any point in an application, I can go up to the search button up here, open that up, enter my search criteria, for example, chart of accounts. It'll give me search results. I can click on that. It'll open up the page related to that. Here's my chart of accounts. I've got all the accounts that make up my chart of accounts and the current balance. If I want to, I can mark this as a bookmark item and it will show right at the top of my role center. This one has already been marked. So I go back to my role center here. This area contains all my bookmarked items and here's the chart of accounts. The last thing I wanted to show you is the ability to personalize screens within Business Central. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to my favorite accounts here. Let's take a look at accounts receivable. This lists all the accounts receivable activity in that account. I can select a particular invoice. If I drill down into that, I can see not only the invoice itself, which I can pop open, and I can see the document as it's represented in Business Central. I can also see the tax entries. There are sales tax here. I can see the sales tax entries here, what the sales tax was for. And this is included an inventory item, so I can see the inventory item that was sold. Let's take a look at the general ledger entries. This is a listing of all the general ledger entries that were created when this invoice was posted. What I can do here is I can personalize the screen to add information to the screen, rearrange the way the columns show up, or hide columns. And it's easy to do. Any user can do this. I can go to my settings here, go to personalize. It changes the mode. I can add a field. This is going to show all the fields attached to this object in Business Central. And what I want to do is I want to add the GL account name to this screen. I'm just going to pull it over from the list, put it in here. And now that GL account name is included in this screen. I'm done with the personalization. So every time I go back to the screen, I'm going to see this GL account name now. It'll help me better identify what the account number is and how it relates to this particular transaction. 
Now, if I want to get rid of the personalization or change it, I can always go back into it, go up to settings, go to personalize, and I want to clear the personalizations. I'll clear them all. And now the next time I go into the screen, the personalization will be gone and I'll have the default view of this particular screen. And that's what I wanted to show you today. A quick review of the role center, the application menu, and the personalization function within Business Central.